Oh, just really hard force. All it is. How bizarre. Okay. I get it now. I just didn't want to break it. But apparently you have to put a lot of force on it just to get that open. All right, let's put this back together. That we fully investigated this piece here. That well, is pretty nifty. So you could replace that for really cheap and anybody really could do this. It's really simple. Versus replacing this whole entire unit, which I bet would be pretty expensive. Sebastian always has the perfect timing to call me right when I'm making videos. Okay, that's sitting nice. Let's put that adhesive, replace the adhesive right there. That belonged there. Let's get some scissors. Oh, if you don't know who Sebastian is, he's my California technician. He's really good, actually. So I think it went a little bit further down, like right there. Okay, and then just a little piece there, but I'm not gonna worry about that. That's just uh, double sided tape. You can get any millimeter size you want. One millimeter all the way up to 15 millimeters. I buy them on eBay, so wherever you guys want to buy them at. All right, so on for the crazy glue. Now you gotta be really careful about this because you wouldn't want to put it in the frame itself. So I'm actually putting some on the top on accident right there. I'll have to wipe that off after I put the screen in. Since this is an edge to edge display here, you don't have to worry about the edges, just the, the bottom. Being a modular design though, it should be pretty easy to fix, um, I would say by yourself, but you wouldn't be able to do the, the glass repair by yourself. This video is just to demonstrate how difficult it is, and I'm a professional that's been doing this for 14 years in the electronic business, and um, I'll tell you this much, I'm a pretty good technician, Not definitely don't, this is definitely not easy work. All right, now that we got that on there, this glue dries pretty fast, so let's get it in there. Any excess super glue all you have to do is or crazy glue all you have to do is just wipe it off with some acetone pretty straightforward
especially if you get some on your fingers. I cannot wait to see how this turned out, guys. Ooh, I'm so nervous. Just scrubbing off the excess super glue on the bottom, like I said. Looks like it's got a really good seal all around. Should say crazy glue, because crazy glue is a lot better than super, in my opinion, for what we need to do here. Okay. Now, where does this piece go to? I think we got it right here. There we go. Put the speaker in. So removing, if you wanted to remove the display, removing the earpiece is definitely necessary. And removing the cameras. <clears throat> <laughs> Oops. They're the same size. Put the camera on the wrong side. That's a kooky design. This phone is so neat though. I like it. I like how the design is just super simple to get into. Ow! Pinch my finger. <clears throat> so I got this fixed with Loca glue. Um, messed up the screen a little bit, but like I said, I'll do the next G5 for free. You just pay for parts. And look at that perfect seal, guys. This one's slightly coming up a little bit. But darn near perfect. Yep, that is. There we go, that's a good seal. So we got the line there, a little bit of bleeding there, and a spot there that's initial. But we only got a little bit of bleeding in the repair. So I could have maybe possibly put a little bit more uh, glue there. Overall, though, you can't even tell. It's still a very usable phone. Wow, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, many more videos are coming in the future. So definitely look out for it. 
and I always appreciate you guys um, watching my videos. If you want to join TechMD, you can definitely do that. And it is www.tech-md.com for the webpage. Watch my uh, videos on how to become a technician with TechMD. Thank you very much. You guys have a great one.